what is up guys Jeremy here and welcome back to another video so I'm gonna show you guys something really cool you can do on your jailbroken iOS 14 device now this will work uh, for uncover taurine and checkering on iOS 14 and basically what it is is a shortcut that's gonna allow you to save an entire jailbreak setup you can save the entire setup so you can switch back to it if you want to. Now I have a lot of fun doing this on my iPhone, creating an entire setup. And then it kind of sucks that, you know, when you decide to switch it, you have to change all of the tweak settings and the theme and the, the AE and the widgets and the dock, a, a whole bunch of stuff. With this shortcut, you can save the setup and go back to it in the future if you want. It's really cool and it saves everything. All of the tweak settings, your wallpaper, the theme you're using, the widgets you're using, all of the individual settings, like how the dock is here or the color of the status bar, all of the tweak settings are saved and it's really quite amazing. Now, I wanna quickly mention that I demoed this more in depth in my tweaks live stream. If you guys haven't seen that live stream, it was a lot of fun. I went through all the tweaks on my iPhone. A uh, link for that will be in the description, but I'm just gonna demo this uh, shortcut real quick here by going into shortcuts and it is called Snapshort and it's created by Tito and it's freaking cool. So let's go ahead and run the shortcut and I'll explain more stuff here in a minute, but I'm just gonna switch by name. I'm gonna switch to my Killa setup. It's gonna go ahead and do a respring here. And then once it's done respringing, as you guys will see, my setup will be completely different with a bunch of other tweak settings, uh, a different theme, a different widget, and it's freaking cool. So as you can see, the entire setup did change. Like I said, the shortcut is called Snapshort. Now, before you download the shortcut, you're gonna want to install a package from Cydia or Cilio or Zebra, uh, whichever you're using. I'm using Zebra, so we'll go in here and go into my packages here. So you will need to install SSH toggle and port. So you need to install this package. I will leave the info for it down in the description. Uh, but once you install that package, it does have a bunch of dependencies. So all of these, go back here, all of these twe or, uh, tweaks and packages will install with it. So you need all of these in order for this to function. But like I said, if, if you install SSH, SSH toggle and port, the rest will or should install automatically. Now, once you've done that, you can download the shortcut and install it. And we're gonna go ahead and jump into the Discord application. This is a free app from the App Store. I'll leave the App Store link in the description. And you wanna to go to the iHeaven Discord. I've covered this a ton on the channel here. Uh, so go ahead and join iHeaven. There's an invite link in the description. And just swipe down until you see the shortcuts channel right there. As you can see, it's a pair of shorts. It's really easy to find. So just go into shortcuts and you will find the most up-to-date download uh, for Snap um, Snapshort in here. Now, if you can't find it, it should be, if you swipe over to the right, go to the pins, you guys should be able to find the uh, the pinned message for the download here as well if you can't find it in the feed. And I also wanna mention quickly that if you guys have any issues with this shortcut working, uh, this is the place to ask. Tito is the creator of it and uh, he can help you out or you know update it to make it work better and stuff like that. So if you have any issues, just uh, you know, ask in this channel here, super simple. But I'm just gonna go ahead and click on the iCloud link. I'm gonna click on get shortcut and we'll give it a second to load here. And then I will go ahead and just swipe to the bottom very quickly and add an un, uh, untrusted shortcut. Now this part is very important. Uh, if you have changed the root passcode on your iPhone, you will have to change it here. If you've never changed it or you have no idea what this is, um, you're probably having the, the default, which is Alpine, which is in there automatically. But I did change my passcode manually, so I'm gonna update it here really quickly and click on continue. Okay, and now once you have entered uh, your root password, as you can see, you can configure this shortcut. I just leave it on beta. I'm just gonna go ahead and click on done and I already have it installed, so I'm just gonna click replace. Uh, you guys won't get that last pop-up, but if we go to the Shortcuts now, as you can see, there is Snapshort, and this is version 6.9. So like I said, this will probably be updated uh, possibly in the future. It might be a newer version than that, but we're gonna go ahead and run the shortcut, give it a second to load. And as you can see, it's really quite simple how it works. You can switch by name, 
you can switch by image, you can save a new setup, you can add a pic to a setup, like a screenshot. So if you wanna screenshot your setup, and then you can choose it by image. Uh, you can update your current setup. You can rename a setup. You can delete setups. You can do a speed setup for just uh, you know quick things. You have extra tools there, and then info and how to. Now, if you guys are using this for the very first time, I'd recommend to read up on the how to here. It's gonna tell you how everything in the shortcut works. It's not too long to get to the bottom and read it all, so pretty quick, and I do recommend you guys to check that out. Uh, but like I said, it's really quite simple how this operates. Again, we're just gonna run it, and if you, oops, if you have never saved a setup, what you'll wanna do for the very first time is do save new setup, and I've already saved them, so I'm just gonna switch back to my Leto setup just for demonstration, so we'll go back to Leto. And again, it should trigger a respring. If for whatever reason it gets stuck on a black screen here, just do a hard reboot on your iPhone. Uh, I only had that happen one time and it hasn't happened since, but if it does happen, uh, your phone is fine. Just do a hard reboot, uh, which on the newer iPhones is volume up, volume down, side button. So as you guys can see, I used Snapshort to switch back to the Leto setup, which has changed a whole bunch of stuff on my iPhone, the wallpaper, the icons, the widget, the dock, the dock effect, a bunch of really cool stuff. So uh, this is definitely a really, really cool trick to know of on iOS 14, especially if you guys are really into making, you know, custom jailbreak setups. Uh, that way you can go back to them in the future and I find that to be very, very cool. Uh, but anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Again, like I said, I will leave all of the links of everything you will need down in the description. So be sure to check that out. And uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys wanna see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.